do not mind the garage. It is an absolute disaster right now. Uh, these are in here because the winds, we have this, what's called Santa Ana winds. It hits to like 50 to 60 miles an hour. Uh, this is a uh, Euro R uh, head, just to show you guys that it is. It is a, where is it? There it is. PDE. Euro R. So, uh, I'm going to fix that head up and I'm going to revamp that head. Actually, giving the uh, block to um, We Have Shit Up on Instagram. I'll put his uh, Instagram down below if you guys want to follow him. All wheel drive, I think, Integra, CRV, EF, something else. He has another car. But, anyways, I'm doing a port and polish on this. So, that's a stock port on an H22A uh, head. And this is mine. Stock? Mine. Stock? Mine. Stock? Mine. Mine. Stock. Stock? Mine. Now what I'm going to do here is, because uh, I, I did all the, the uh, ring, well not the rings, the valves. And I found out that this cylinder here is a lot more darker than all the other cylinders. So this one's not so dark. This one's kind of dark. This one's dark. And then this one's darker. So some of the uh, valves got bent. Whoever was driving this car. Same with the other head. Uh, this all right here is going to need to be repaired on the uh, Euro R head because a piston boom came up and smacked the shit out of it so I'm gonna have to uh, find out a way to have that fixed and repaired otherwise the head is useless and I know I've seen people TIG weld and fix it and grind it down and smooth it out and whatever so I know that's a possibility but um, I don't know anybody that knows how to TIG weld so yeah, I'm kind of fucked on that one. But right now I'm letting my phone charge so I have some kind of music to listen to while I do this because I don't want to hear the sound. So, And whoever used uh, a gasket on here put silicone for some reason. Uh, yeah, so this still needs to get polished but it's super smooth to the touch. Uh, unlike this which is really rough and feels grainy, kind of feels like uh, you're rubbing your finger on sandpaper. And it has a weird little lip right here. This one, there's no more lips. So it's the same size port stock. But inside, I just opened it up more. Made this more smoother. Made the uh, airway open more. And made this knife edge. You, you can see that this is a lot skinnier than this one here. And I took the humps that are right there. And I helped it by uh, pyramiding it. If that's, the, if that's even a word, pyramiding. So that way the air goes in. It's supposed to tumble in here. If I had a uh, CNC machine, you could put little dimples in to the, uh, the wall right here to where the air will literally like tumble. It helps perform with performance. But I talked to uh, JSR Engines and I sent a few other machine shops that I follow pictures of this and they said pretty good looks like it'll flow really good uh, just keep at it and keep going um, they said for a beginner it's not that bad I, I have a confession so I don't know every time I film I have to yawn I don't know what it is but I have to yawn because I'm fucking tired all the time but so if you ever see me yawn I'm sorry Okay, so this is the final port. Rough cut, rough cut, rough cut. And I'm watching some Chris Sadowski talking to uh, Young Static. R Young Static said to Chris Sadowski, anything you, re you do is content, record it. Which is true. So anything that you guys do, record it. It's content. Also listening to Cradle of Filth. So, uh, just a little, watching a little bit of this. About to take a smoke break, because uh, I be sweating, I'm fat. So, yes. So I know what you're probably thinking, right? Chris, how the hell is the, is the uh, valve supposed to sit into the valve stem, uh, valve stem if, it's, if it's rounded like that? Well, simple, my dear. You just put it in the hole, and it goes right in. Boom. In there, like swimwear. So now I have to push this. 
and push it out. Boom. And I already checked all the other ones. Going in there. And going in there. And if I can find the hole, which I'm not very good at, going in there. You could ask my girlfriend about that one. Did you get that? Oh, a friend gave it to me. What is it? I mean, obviously it's a Canon, but like, what? I don't know. Uh, Canon... It says it right there. Hold on. It's mirrored. Oh, yeah, that's right. It says, uh... Vixa. You know, you know, uh... I think I caught COVID again. I've been sick. <laughs> Coughing up green shit. But, since I have been... Uh, got this all ported and polished. Well, uh, which ones are polished? These ones are polished. These ones are just ported. And then I did the insides of these. As you guys can see, they're really polished. And these little edges here are smooth. Instead of being like a stock lumpy chingus. I'll just show you here. So, this one... They don't really have them on the Euro R, but this area right here is kind of uh, up. So, the, and the Euro R's, they lower them to raise compressions on the Euro R, because this is technically like a Type R, well, I think it is, like a Type R motor, but in, uh, in Europe, because they only came in the Accords. They did not come in Preludes, I don't think, or anything else, but I lowered the ones on the H22A, head that's over there I uh, lowered them like this and then polished the entire area of how it should be um, this is probably really bad but I think with some important polish on this shit right on the cylinders here some rough sanding and then polishing I think it's salvageable but I'm not entirely too sure because the piston came up over here and that's a whole different ball game of scoring and there's a piece missing down there I don't know if you guys can see that but it's missing so it broke off and uh, flew up and started scraping the inside of the cylinder wall so yeah oh shout out to Raphael gave me some blocks stage ones for the motor I'm giving these B17A G, uh, JDM GSR uh, from an Integra, well from a DA to Robert, and then I'm selling those ones as the USDM GSRs, so that way everybody's happy. Yeah! Oh, okay, so I've been busy. Uh, I had an extra brake master cylinder, and mine on my Civic has been leaking, so I decided to replace it because I want to drive my car, but today I was going to bleed the brakes and whatnot, and take it to drive, but then I realized I can't do that because I don't have any tags. But here's the old one. Can't really tell if it's bad or not. Don't know what was causing it to leak. But my fat ass got under here and swapped it out for this one. Hopefully this one's a lot better. So I'm gonna pour the fluid in now and give it a few days and if it leaks, then I know what the problem is. Oh, it's brand new, sick. Yes, take it all. Yeah. It's holding it. Because before it would just leak. So I'll leave that right there. Leave that right there. Where you whistling at? Alright, now to pump the brakes and see how it feels. Alright, so I put the cap back on. This is here. It's shit it's not the best uh, there was literally dog shit I see there's still a fucking piece there right there but there was literally a bunch of shit right here for some reason I don't know if somebody took a shit on my on my engine or they, they put a bunch of shit there if I find out who it is I just want to talk all right we're back at Louise's house uh, now we're working back on the uh, EF and I got rid of the bars here the bars there and the bars Where's my hand? Oh, I can see it now. Right across. So, 
as you guys already saw, I have the dash and carpet and one door panel in. Uh, I'm just uh, kind of like mocking it up because it's still missing a lot of things, brackets here and there, you know. Uh, the dash is pretty simple, but I still have to go underneath and uh, find the home for every single wire to where it goes because, you know, this is an EF and that's a CRX dash going into an EF, so it's kind of difficult. But um, I don't even think this door panel, like this is a, what is this? This is, huh? Well, this is a 90. So he would need seat belts regardless. So that's why I didn't even button up the door panels fully because it still needs the, that and it still needs the bracket that mounts there to there. So that way that little bar doesn't move. So that way you could put the center console in there. So he wants to run. Uh, CR Ooh, almost fell on that bolt. He wants to run a CR uh, CRX center console, but given the fact that all he has in an EF uh, pieces, we might be able to get away with a CRX. Maybe I don't know. But if he wants to change his mind, he has the uh, EF dash right over there, so it's really no big deal. The only reason why he wants the um, CRX dash is because it turns at you a little bit, so it kind of looks like a fighter jet is what I always call it. Um, gonna put the rear quarter panels in um, after I get the uh, windows situated here. Look Paul, we almost have the car done. All we need now is the motor. Um, okay, well, I got a lot of work to do. And in case you're wondering, yes, the dash is flocked. Uh, it's, a bear, it's a terrible flock job, but uh, I did it myself a long time ago in the garage during the winter a few years ago and he was like I want it so I said fuck it and I gave it to him and he's gonna try to retrofit the uh, cluster bezel from a uh, what you call it EF to fit onto a CRX I don't know how he's gonna do that but he's gonna try to retrofit it himself so he's trimming the bezel so all my EF friends out there I know what you're thinking <laughs> all right got the back seat in already vacuumed and cleaned it up Got my bucket of bolts here, and working my way from the front to the back. Paul, if you're watching this, I hope this is making you happy, seeing that you're seeing your old car kind of come back to life. That's my uh, that's my goal, is so that way you can see that this car. I don't know if you care about this car or not anymore, but you got that sick ass red one now. But uh, hopefully, seeing this, you make you go. Okay, like cool, like you know, uh, and you uh, make kind of makes you happy. Uh, that's my goal is to make you happy. So while Louise works on the rear hatch, and Costello stands there, where is he? There he is. Uh, I'm doing what I do best. I'm being lazy. Sit there. Shut up, bitch! I did most of this work anyways. <laughs> you were fucking gone. Oh, I went to go eat, and then you told me that you've been feeling Costello the entire time. When you meant to say telling, telling, but you said feeling. Move that. Let's stop in it. Oh, there used to be a clip there. Mm -hmm. It goes into the floor. Pull these cords out. So that way you have access to them. Uh, I should probably plug this in first. Huh? Yeah, probably. I heard a duck run. It wasn't ours. All right, both panels are in. I. Uh, at this point, I don't care. Look, uh, so uh, there was plastic. There's plastic trim that goes around this on the EF that you have to pick up the glass. Well, the rubber seal. If you guys can see this little piece of plastic right here, and it has to go over it, like so. There's a clip here and a clip here to where they go in, so that way they don't see how it's like moving. <laughs> You're an idiot. That's you. Well, I wouldn't have a I wouldn't have a repaired roof, that's for sure. 
You wouldn't have an EF. And I'd probably have some hot neighbors. <laughs> no, you wouldn't, bitch. <laughs> They're saying, what would you do? What would they do without me? That's what they were saying. I was like, probably have a better life. And hot neighbors. And hot neighbors, apparently, but. But no best friend. No best friend. Got the cargo cover in. All the plastics. Still missing some hardware for the seat, but it's gonna sit there for now, because so that way he doesn't have a whole bunch of stuff in the garage, or, uh, as much as it already has. Uh, we're gonna be, he's gonna be changing out one of these right here, which locks in the cargo cover. He's changing it out of this one right here. I'll move that for you. Okay, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I only have like less than 10 seconds to film this. So uh, all my links to my subscribers are down below. My name is Chris from Lazy Man Garage and I'm lazy, so you don't have to be. Peace.